Hi everyone and welcome to Billy Fitzgerald Golf and tonight I want to go over making sure we have enough space or room on the way down for your arms to swing. Now we've covered it a little bit about in the lower body but I want to make sure that we understand what's happening you know with your arms what are they supposed to be doing. I see a lot of this on the lesson tee is that we know we have to turn behind the golf ball and so simply what we what we try to do is feel how your arm goes way across your chest. Well the problem with that is is that my arms can't swing down now. There's nowhere them for them to go. You want to make sure that your arms aren't getting pulled so far to the inside that we, you know, literally have to come over the top to get the, the club on the golf ball. And so <clears throat> I'm trying to create this picture for you to make sure that you understand what's happening in the backswing. Your arms actually move more up and down. Now your chest is going to turn and your hips going to turn. It's going to create space for your arms to move. But if your arms, if you try to create the turn and using your arms and your left arm goes way across your chest this way, then there's no way that they can get down and it causes us to come over the top. So uh, one diagram that I wanna share with you, or just kind of a very simple drill uh, that my friend Mike Malaska had, has taught me is that if I just get down in my setup position and put my hands together here, Okay, I want to give you a picture here. If my right arm swings back and it opens up my shoulder and my hip, see, I need to be able to feel like my arms can go down in that space. So, in other words, I would say in simplest form or terms, you want to create space and then use it. Okay, but if your arms are going so far back in here, then your arm, they, they can't get down. The other thing that happens is we're going to kind of keen on or look at is what your right elbow or your trail elbow is doing it cannot be going massively this way because as soon as my arm goes this way okay either my backswing is going to get short because this now my my arm can't rotate in its shoulder socket which is going to pull my chest apart as soon as my elbow gets in here or behind my hip i'm in really big trouble it's either going to shorten my swing or it's going to cause the club to go across the line. And as soon as I swing down, I'm going to dump the face back here. And now I've got to flip it to try to catch it up. I, I have spent a long time trying to fix that. So I know all about that. Um, you know, and it still creeps up in my swing. That's why a lot of times you'll see, you know, when, when I make practice swings, that the club goes way over here and my elbow starts to work in. It's just, it's my kind of trigger to feel what the golf club in my arms should be doing. So what I want to do is, is kind of take you through and envision what it means to create space and then use it and give you a couple of key points of what we're trying to feel. So if I just set up to the golf ball here and my arms start to work back, so the face starts to work back over here. So I'm almost feeling like my hips, hip socket works away from the away from the ball and the face of the club starting to work out a little bit now my arms are going to work up and down you can see how my right arm is working my right arm is working in its shoulder socket here and when i do that my elbow feels like it goes towards the golf ball so a great feeling for you to have is that as your hip socket goes back and your arm starts and your arm starts to work is that you don't want to feel like your elbow gets behind your hip. You want to feel like it's in front of your hip. And you won't believe, you, you'll feel like your elbow is so far in front of your hip and then you get it on camera and it's not really, it's not really that far in front. And what that does is that will allow you to be able to make sure that your arms can swing independently on the way down. For me, when I swing and I take my practice swings and you'll see it here, I almost feel like my arms go way, way out here. They go way outside and then I get it on camera because my chest is turning, because my hips are turning. See, that's pulling my arms in. But if I if I feel here, I'm way back here. So it's it's really important to get yourself on camera, especially when you're going to hit the golf ball so you can see what's happening in your golf swing. So I'll make a couple practice swings here. So as I swing back, now I'm gonna really overdo it. So I almost feel, and I, and I made this practice swing for a while where I felt like my arms went way over here. See, my elbow's way in, way in here and my hip socket's way back over there. I have to feel an exaggeration of that. Now, what that does is it feels like a massive opening right here. Now my arms can easily get down in front of me and I can easily get the golf club in front of me. It's not stuck behind me. I don't have to come over the top anymore. 
again, remember, this is what I want to feel. If I'm right here at setup and I swing back down, I've got this huge hole there. I'm trying to make sure that my arms can come right back down there. So again, I don't want to feel like my hip moves in there or my shoulder comes over the top of it. And certainly if my arms get way back here, they can't, they can't get down there. So when I make a practice swing, and I set up, I'm gonna feel like my elbow, my right elbow, is well inside my right hip. Now to make sure that that happens, I'm gonna feel like my hip socket goes back and my elbow, because as, as my arm is working in its shoulder socket, it's almost moving towards the ball. So now I start to feel how my arms can really swing down. Okay, so now let's hit one. I'll just hit one pretty slow here. Get ready to go. Now what I'm trying to feel, again, is that the face is going out here, my elbow is going way out here, and my hip socket's going back. Okay, let's do one more. So that really felt or gave me the feeling like I had a lot of room to be able to swing my arm back down in front of me. So make one more. My elbow gets in front of my right hip, so I have a lot of room to swing my arms down into. So again, as I swing back, elbow goes out, hip goes back. So it's really easy for my arms to get back down in front of me. So again, kind of lose the lose the thought of your arms are swinging way back in here on the inside my elbows going way back in here I'm just trying I'm just gonna be able to come over the top of it I want you to feel like your elbow so again we've got all that structure it's right underneath the shaft my elbow gets underneath the golf club it's underneath the golf club and it's in front of my hip so what that does is it gives me a lot of room to swing back down one more here Make a practice swing. Again, over-exaggerate everything at a slower speed. And I may even feel a loop there. So again, one more. I'm going to feel like my right hip goes back. My elbow's in front of it. So there's a lot of room for my arms to swing down. Try this, and I know it'll free up your swing and lead you into hitting much better quality golf shots. Like and subscribe to my channel, Billy Fitzgerald Golf. Want to take a live lesson from me or you have a question? Visit me at billyfitzgeraldgolf.com and thanks for watching.